Hi, my name is Hannah Garwood, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a couple different things in Word today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to justify text. So to justify text, you're going to highlight over the text that you want to do. And once you have it, you're going to go to this bar right here, and you can either left, center, or right justify, or you can make it go from one side to the other. Another way to justify text would be to go up to this format bar, to go to paragraph, and then under general you see alignment and you can select either left, centered, right, or justified. So we'll do centered this time, click OK. Now that I have my text justified, I'm going to show you how to paste and resize an image. So I'm going to take a browser I have already open and I'm going to use this lovely picture of some roses. We're going to um, go over the selected image, we're going to right click copy image, we're going to click in our document where we want the picture, we're going to right click, go to paste special, we're going to click picture because we want the picture pasted over. Click OK and there's our image. Let me get rid of this here. Another way to do that, uh, to paste an image, would be to already have a picture maybe on your desktop. We're going to click the image, we're going to right click the image, copy, and then click back in our document where we want it. Again we're going to right click, paste special and this time instead of the picture or the text we want the file we want all the file information so I'm gonna click OK and I have another picture awesome to resize this image you can click on the image and then you can use the corner buttons to drag it out drag it into resize another way to resize is to go up to this new tab that came picture format and you can go to the height and width column and you can adjust there so I'm going to delete that image. Now I'm going to show you how to wrap text around an image. So we have this picture and we want to put it in our essay. So we're going to drag it up and, oh no, we have a big gap in the text. One way to get rid of this is to wrap text. The easiest way to do this would be to right click on the image, go down to wrap text, and instead of inline with image, we want one of these options. So the easiest one is usually to go to square. So now when we drag the picture around, it will have the text move around it. Another way to do this would be to go back up to picture format with the picture still selected, and there you can find the wrap, uh, the wrap text also. I'll go back to inline so you can see what that looks like, and then we'll do square again, which to me is the cleanest option. As far as wrapping text around tables goes, if you're using a modern version of Word, which I am, the text is automatically going to wrap around a table. Uh, I haven't found a way yet to make it not wrap around the table, so that's about how that's going to go.